Yeah, how do y'all? I, I just had to share this with you. I just finished having me a show of no hold bar country conversation with some folk that I know. And it all stems from trying to figure out who stays in the most country place between us. Now, when I tell you this was a no hold bar conversation, we put all the stops. Oh, yeah, it, it was a doozy. It was a doozy. Now, with that being said, notice it's a country conversation. This ain't to be mocked now. Now, if you ain't country or consider yourself country, this ain't time to participate, time to learn something, not to participate. That's just my disclaimer. And with that being said, we brought up traffic lights. Great measurement of how country you are. Now, when you're from the country, you know there's a specific ratio of traffic lights to square mileage. It's obvious. So, yeah, that's what we went with first. So, this particular person talking about in their county, they pretty much got about 20 to 30 county-wide traffic lights. 20 to 30? <laughs> Surely you just, sir, we got two. We got two, a grand total of two. One in Trinity, one in Maisel, okay? Okay, and if we talking about them blinking lights, yeah, where I'm from, Apollaville, yeah, we got a blinking light that must blink yellow, that must blink red. It ain't never blink green ever. And, and so, yeah, I went on that post like, yeah, check that one out. Next, we talking about stoves. Now, where this particular person's from, in that county, they got three Walmarts. All of them big Walmarts with grocery sections and everything. You got three Walmarts. Okay. Zero. There are zero Walmarts where I live in, in my county. Now, we surrounded by Walmarts, but not near a Walmart in my county. So, yeah. Let's check that one out, shall we? Walmarts. What are you talking about? Now, we got plenty of Dollar Generals now. We talking about Dollar Generals. We got three county wide and they spread out. So they ain't even really congested like normal Dollar Generals be. But we got them. At least we got them. And some Piggly Wigglies and whatnot. We got those. But a Walmart, psh, surely you just. Then we brought up gas stations. Now, where this particular person lives at, they got nationally recognized gas station chains. You know, like your Serve Code, your Circle K's, you know, Handy Marts and all that kind of wild wise well you know i don't i've heard of them i ain't never seen one particular royal farms them type places no no surely you just again we might get gas from them like that store might have some exxon gas or some bp gas but i ain't name of that station no nah, that mother called c mart that mother called billy's that mother called jay's mini mart that's what they call we ain't got no nationally recognized gas station around here that's the country. <laughs> Surely you just once again. Then from out the blue, for some strange reason, they want to talk about public transportation. Now, I should have just excluded them off gate just for that statement. But I said, okay, I'm going to hear you out. So apparently in his country part of, of where he live in, they have uh, you know, vans and buses that go around periodically and pick people up and take them to destinations like you know, to doctor's offices and, and, and the stores and jobs and whatnot. That's nice. We got buses too. They big and yellow. And you can only get on if you're a child and go to school. So that's part of, I, I mean, they public schools. So does that count? We got four wheelers. Um, uh, We got lawnmowers. I, I've seen plenty of people get where they need to go to the Dodge General on their lawnmower. Uh, most of the time, uh, Pat and Charlie, that's your feats if you didn't know. Or, or since it's public, if you have your own vehicle, you can use that public transportation. <laughs> Check that one off the list. Talk about their country. I don't know what country you live in. Well, part you might be rural, but I don't think that's country though. Cause uh, yeah. And then he hit me with the Coupe de Gras, as we say in John Kind, the Coupe de Gracie, population size. Now this 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 one we we shrunk it down to the area, not county wide. So where this person lives there in 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 the country, his town. They have about mm, 10,000 people. First of all, sir, you have a comma. There's a comma. You said 10,000. Okay. Where I'm from, I ain't in that town. In that town, there might be, oh, I don't know, maybe 210. And I don't even stay there. So, <laughs> let's check that one off the list, too. 10,000. 10,000. 10, now, I don't even know if I, if I ever seen 10,000 people at one time. Miss me with that. 
Needless to say, this person finally conceded to the notion that maybe where they stand ain't as country as where I'm from. And that's all this was. A good old he hawking, good old country talking time. Now, for those who ain't country, this is education instead of misinformation. Ain't nothing wrong being from the country. Ain't nothing wrong being where you from. Be proud of where you from. Is that your notion? Good for you. I know I am. That's all this was. Good old country talking. Boy, try to tell me I ain't could look where I'm at now. Come on now. You got to tell me something different. <laughs> nah, I miss with that. Y'all had you a good one here. I'm about to have me a good old country dinner. Get on my country yard. Have me a good old country time. But I'm about to go inside because these country mosquitoes is killing me.